things we don't know. Putting science in your hands. Pluto is dead, according to Mike Brown in How I Kill Pluto and Why It Had It Coming. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't go there. Unsurprisingly, given the distances involved, we know very little about Pluto. Discovered in 1930, Pluto remains something of a mystery, as astronomers are a long way from understanding its origin. Pluto is one of many rocky and icy bodies which form the Kuiper Belt, in the outer region of the solar system. Pluto was discovered by Clyde Tomberg in a systematic search for a planet beyond Neptune. Pluto was initially considered a planet before the International Astronomical Union officially defined what a planet was. At one point, Pluto was thought to be a rogue moon of Neptune. Much of the information we've been able to determine about Pluto is based upon high-res images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. An example of this is how one of Pluto's moons, Kerberos, has been estimated between 13 and 35 kilometers in size. It is quite possible that Pluto has rings or moons additional to the five we've been unable to detect so far. As part of the ongoing studies of Pluto, NASA launched the robotic spacecraft known as New Horizons in January 2006. This will be the first spacecraft to study Pluto and its moons. However, New Horizons is not scheduled to arrive till July 2015. New Horizons paid a visit to Jupiter while on its way to Pluto. The gravity of Jupiter was used to perform a slingshot manoeuvre. This enables New Horizons to gain speed and go further into the solar system. Scientists have shown that it might be possible to try and detect any signs of the flyby anomaly as a result of the visit. So far, nothing seems to have been published. The flyby anomaly was first noticed in December 1990 following Galileo's Earth flyby. New Horizons will approach Pluto at tremendous speeds, so New Horizons will pay a truly flying visit to Pluto, passing by at a whopping 14 kilometers every second. To put the scale in perspective, imagine trying to throw a marble such that it skimmed a football 500 meters away, traveling at 200 miles per hour. The precision level required of this maneuver is of Gaussian proportions. The information about New Horizons will be limited, due to the limited time frame. Nonetheless, the core mission objectives for New Horizons are to determine global geology of Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, map chemical compositions of their surfaces, and characterise the atmosphere of Pluto. There's probably more we don't know about Pluto than is that we do. Following the Pluto flyby, New Horizons flight path will send it deep into the Kuiper Belt, 